What's up, everybody? Matt Gajewski here, back again with the Stochastic Channel, talking all things prize picks. It is UFC Vegas 57, Armin Sarukian taking on Matawash Gamrat, and I'm really excited to break this down for you. Before we get started, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know in this and all other contests go live. But before we get started, we have a fantastic offer from Prize Picks, who we'll be talking about in this video. If you've never heard of them, they're a daily prop-based platform where you can make lineups of players, up to five of them, at net 10 extra entry fee. But there's a lot of options in there, which we'll talk about. But better yet, they're offering you some free money. If you use the promo code OSMO, you get a match deposit bonus up to $100. And who doesn't want $100 free dollars? So diving into this, we're going to get into three prize picks plays that you can take advantage of today for UFC Vegas 57. And we're actually going to start with some fight time props. The main event, Armin Sarukian taking on Matash Gamrat. It's listed at 22 and a half minutes, and there appears to be some value on the under here. Now, both these fighters are very durable. You're going to hear a lot of that in the media coverage today, and it's true. I mean, you have Sarukian only been knocked out once. You have Gamrat never being finished, and they've fought some good fighters between them. I mean, we're talking about fighters like Islam Makachev, Davi Hamos, Matt Frivola, Gurum Tutataladze. Those are just some of the fighters that these guys have faced. But when we look at the overall betting odds, this fight is minus 120 to go to a decision. That's a 55% chance. That means we have about a 45% chance for a finish. Sarukin is plus 150 in the distance, giving him about a 40% chance to finish the fight early. And Gamrot's at 550. That's about a 15.5% chance to finish this fight early. So overall, the betting markets are telling us that this fight is about a 50-50 chance to finish early. That means with the fight prop time at 22 and a half minutes, as long as that doesn't occur in the final two and a half minutes of this fight, you're getting a bit of value here. And this is a pretty decent step up in competition between these two guys who have taken some damage against some of the better fighters in their the division. So this is spot, I think the under is pretty good here, even though some of these fighters have been pretty durable in their careers. I mean, going the distance against Makachev is something to actually behold. But overall... It's a spot with Sarukian in particular, not really experienced with the five run atmosphere. How does that affect his gas tank? These are all questions I have, and the betting markets are telling us there is some decent value towards the under here. The next fighter I want to talk about, I think actually has some value in the significant strikes mar margin. It's Shavkat Rachmanov, 32 and a half. But my friend Greg Ehrenberg broke this down on the channel yesterday, so I'm going to go to takedowns with Shavkat, which I think is also a value, and it's the same thesis. One and a half takedowns, we're going to go towards the over with Shavkat. Basically, the, all this comes down to Shavkat has some warped numbers based on a lower level of competition in the UFC and finishing his fights super early. Now he's going to be taking on Neil Magny, who's a ranked fighter, a fighter that is a veteran and who's been fairly durable in his career. With this takedown prop, the numbers suggest Rachmanov could hit the over. He lands 1.8 takedowns per bout, and he does so with 40% accuracy, which means He's attempting 5.7 takedowns per 15 minutes. That's a ton of opportunity if this fight does go the distance. On the other side, Magny has 58% takedown defense, so he has been susceptible to takedowns in the past. And when you dig into that, he's been taken down against some fighters, I think, that have wrestling on either side of Shavkat. Jeff Neal took him down once, controlled him for three and a half minutes. Michael Chiesa, phenomenal wrestler, took him down four times, 15 minutes of control time. Anthony Rocco Martin got him down once on two attempts. Just shy of five minutes of control time. What this suggests to me is that good, solid wrestlers can take advantage of Magny's 58% takedown defense. But Magny is durable enough not to get submitted. He hasn't been submitted since 2017 against Rafael Dos Anjos. And he's pretty good at getting up to his feet. But again, this fight is only plus 130 to make it to decision. So even if Rachmanov does control Neil Magny on the ground, this is a good shot of getting to round two, round three, where Neil Magny is again going to be back to his feet and Shavkat can rinse and repeat and hit more takedowns here. So we're going to go over one and a half takedowns with Shavkat Rachmanov. And getting into our last prize pick here, another fighter with a ton of hype, but we're going to look at the fantasy score. It's Umar Nurmagomedov, 111 and a half fantasy points. We're going to hit the over on this, and it might seem like a pretty exorbitant number, but let me tell you why. This is a good spot towards the over. Umar Nurmagomedov, First of all, is taking on Nate Manis. This is the widest betting odds on the entire slate. 
Right now, Urmagomedov is basically a 9-1 to betting favorite, giving him a really solid chance to finish this fight early. He's actually minus 150 to win this fight inside the distance, giving him about a 60% chance to finish the fight. So when you look at how this is scored on prize picks, a first-round finish is worth 100 points, a second-round finish is worth 75 points, and a third-round finish is worth 50 points. So very likely to finish this fight. What happens if he finishes it in the first round? Well, he's going to get 100 points immediately, and he's a strong wrestler, so maybe he does it with a takedown and a submission attempt. Those are worth three and eight points, respectively. So, excuse me, three and five points, respectively, which puts him at 108 points. If he lands a couple significant strikes in there, he's going to cruise past this 111. What happens if it goes to the second and third rounds? Well, if he finishes in the, in the second, he's getting 75 points. In the third, he's getting 50. But he's aggressive enough to still overcome this with those later round finishes. He averages seven and a half takedowns per bout with 37% accuracy, which means he's attempting 20 and a half takedowns per 15 minutes. Again, this is a small sample size, but you understand the point. He's incredibly aggressive as a grappler, and he is not going to stop. He also averages two and a half submission attempts per 15 minutes, and submission attempts are worth five points on prize picks. All this is without the significant strikes, where he still averages 3.61 significant strikes with 64% accuracy. Nate Manis has horrific striking defense at 45%, and he's absorbing 4.7 strikes for every 2.9 strikes landed. All I'm trying to say here is that Nurmagomedov has multiple paths to victory, and he's so aggressive that he has multiple paths to paying off this 111 fantasy score towards the over. To recap all this, we have Armin Sarukian and Matosh Gamera under 22 and a half fight minutes. Shavkat Rachmanov over one and a half takedowns. Also love the over on Rachmanov significant strikes if you would prefer to take that. And then the over on Umar Nurmagomedov projected for 111 and a half fantasy points. Just think that is far too low. And of course, Prize Picks, they're the presenting sponsor. They have multiple ways you can take advantage of this. If you want to go all three of these, you can win very solid entry fee. It's going to give you 5X or you can do two of the three, get some of your money back if one of them loses. There's multiple ways you can take advantage of these prize picks. So make sure to go over there, check them out, hit some of these props, create some value. And of course, they're giving you the $100 free when you use the promo code AWESOMO. So that is something you certainly want to take advantage of, of course. But I am Matt Gajeski on Twitter at Matt underscore Gajeski. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you again next time.